And welcome back pizza lovers for a new tool which I want to show you here really quick. With this one you can easily create a back alley scene like this. So let's jump right in. So here we are in the blender file right now and I want to show you really quick what you can do with this whole thing. So yeah, first of all you have this back alley gen and the assets. And in here in the assets, um, in the assets, assets collection, you can find all, um, all the stuff um, which we are using here later in, um, yeah, here with our back alley generator. And yeah, you can adjust this stuff. You can delete this one if you don't want to have a speci specific thing into in your scene, or you can add stuff. Here, um, that, that, that's the point where you can put all this stuff uh, together. Okay, and that's the back LA generator here right now. And this one is the mover where you can move all the stuff around. And then we have the back LA gen and the wall. The wall is only for, um, for the texture, for <laughs> the wall. So um, here you can Put your material on it and the important thing is that you have to put the rotation to 90 degrees keep this in mind please otherwise the texture will screw up so yeah okay and by the way if you want to change the size of the wall you can do this by editing here the wall mesh get into edit mode and resize it however you want it um, but now we want to leave it like it is and then you can hide this one and enable here the back LA gen and now you can see we have here a lot of settings and so yeah let's get started maybe let's add here some windows now and yeah as you can see we have here account X and account Z so you can adjust uh, yeah, just here the numbers of the windows and uh, yeah, let's put this one here to three and here you can adjust here the grid for um, yeah, your windows. One thing uh, you have to know is that you can't use uh, count with one because the geometry nodes don't support uh one right now so um yeah keep this in mind so um the next one uh, is yeah the grid scale the grid scale the z the position so you can adjust here the whole grid and here the seat um, as you can see you can s skip here through different window variations when you import the back allergen into your scene and you uh, want to use EV, keep in mind that you have to enable screen, screen space reflections and then the refraction and please put the trace precision and the maximum roughness to one. Okay, um, yeah, when we are having here some windows, um, I thought it would be cool when you have some, yeah, ACs, <laughs> some air conditioned stuff here and um, yeah you can adjust this one here a little bit one important thing is that uh, the acs are import uh, linked to the to the windows so um but when you want to have uh, yeah, a wall without windows so you can put the scale here down and you will keep the acs um okay and uh, yeah you can skip here the seat around and um, yeah when you want to have uh, all all ACs on all windows um, you have to go here into the assets I think I put here um, some uh, empties into the ACs and because then you have some windows which are not having um, yeah, some ACs <laughs> and when you are deleting all the stuff um, uh, every window will have an AC. Okay, uh, next one will be here the drain pipe. 
And yeah, you can see here we have here now some drain pipes and you can put this one and adjust this one as you wish. So, but I want to have two for the whole scene here right now. So I think that's good. Um, you can adjust here this one and yeah, scale this one down. And I think that's cool. The next thing will be some light signs here. So maybe let's scale this one a little bit up here. And now you can see here, um, we have here some light signs. Maybe uh, let's adjust here the start and the end. Maybe let's put this one here over to this one here. And yeah, you can um, adjust here the Z value as well. And maybe put this one a little bit on the randomize here. And yeah, you can go here through the seed and and look and <laughs> change it to whatever you want. Um, I put some textures here into the download file where you can adjust here the textures for the light signs as well. So um, yeah, feel free to change it. Next one will be here the rolling gates. You can see here we have here some different uh, yeah, stuff. Maybe let's put this one here down to one and you can adjust here the start and the end point. In the X and the Z position. Maybe let's put this one here. So something like this and you can skip here through the seat and yeah, choose whatever you like. Maybe here um, a storefront, maybe something like this. Okay, let's go to the next one which will be here some neon lights so let's increase here the scale and now we can adjust here the x and the z value and the offset as well so maybe do something like this let's skip here through the seat um yeah there are two different colors here right now some reddish and some bluish stuff here uh, let's go here so there you can see it a little bit better and um, yeah as I said you can uh, go to the um, to the um, to the assets and <laughs> change the color um, to whatever you like so feel free to do this and yeah this is uh, the neon lights so let's go here to the next one which we will be here some more details for the wall um, and that's the shafts here and we have here some grid count again and can adjust here some uh, can adjust here the x and the z value and the position um, to put this into the right direction here right now to maybe let's uh, put this one here a little bit off and yeah we can adjust here a little bit the randomized value maybe to something like this here and it's a little bit too even here I think so maybe we can go here with something like this I think that's cool uh, maybe put the position a little bit over here. I think that's okay. Yeah, and yeah, you can yeah go to, through the seat here or change the scale, whatever you like. So uh, I think that's cool here right now. Maybe let's go with this one here. Okay, the next one will be here in the ground level, and that's are the trash bins here so let's go here with one and as you can see here we have here some some trash and we can yeah adjust this one uh, in the positions and maybe let's uh, go for another here maybe something like this and let's change here the seat to 
something like something like <laughs> uh, maybe do something like this and maybe let's put the uh, count down and yeah let's uh, put the and x a little bit together here we can change here the random rotation that uh, everything looks not so uh, yeah so even so maybe let's go here with this one and let's change a little bit the nx here right now and we can change the random y so uh, yeah that's i think that's looking good here right now uh, yeah let's go to the next one um we have some wires uh wires horizontal um and when you are putting the scale up you can see here we have some wires because i thought it would be cool when you are um, putting something on the other side uh, of the la so um, then we have here some some wires uh, hanging through uh, hanging here in our la which uh, would be really nice again this is a grid so we can adjust here um, the size of the grid the count and yeah the position as well so maybe let's put this one a little bit here up but i don't think we need this right now i will show you what i mean with this uh, la thing so okay now we want to add here some vertical wires so uh, let's uh yeah put this one to one and now you can see here we have in here some wires on the wall um, and yeah to add some some more detail here really easy so uh, let's put this one here over and maybe maybe do something like this and yeah let's put this one here so we have here some some little details here which are going on on our wall okay and the last one will be here right now the street light so let's put this one to one <laughs> and now we can here adjust the position of the street light the start and end point uh, maybe let's go here with this one and maybe do something like this now you have your cool building for your back alley and what you can do easily now is go here to our uh, back alley um, collection select here all the stuff press uh, shift d and put this mover here over uh, maybe let's rotate this one or not this one let's rotate this one here to 180 degrees <clears throat> and put this one over here maybe to something like this and yeah let's go here with this one and now um yeah what i can show you here what i meant with um with the vertical the horizontal wires so when we are enabling this one here now you can scale this so it will fit here to uh, to our scene or to our la and now we can go here to our other other wall and maybe we don't want to have here some uh, some windows so let's disable here our windows and now we want to have some other um, light signs so let's skip through the seat so we have here some other kind of stuff going on maybe yeah let's get rid of the white one so maybe to something like this and yeah maybe you want to change the rolling gates here again so let's skip this one through here so we have two of this one and 
maybe we want to have some other trash stuff here going on so uh, let's go here through this i think that's cool right now and yeah you can see now we have uh yeah created a tiny la stuff here in maybe 10 or 15 minutes so um yeah i think or i hope this one uh, will help you to create this uh, this kind of stuff here and um yeah you can find this one on gumroad on, on blender market so um yeah i hope you have a lot of fun with this one so um yeah see you next time and bye bye